M0FXP, the Radtail 880G or the UV98 GPS model is capable of receiving and transmitting APRS. You can see the pop-ups coming up live there. We're still tinkering with the settings. If I press the PTT on my Radtail, you'll see it pops up there on my FT5, which is excellent. Now, we're, we're trying to find ourselves on APRS live at the moment. If I just click across to the map, I'm still not seeing me show up on the actual APRS map, but let me show you my settings anyway. We obviously are receiving APRS and sending it, but whether it's it's the correct settings, take a look. So in the software, go across until you get to extend and GPS is the first tab here. And I just turned it on. We've got the board rate at 9600. Yeah, that could be changed. UTC, um, speed, distance in kilometers. I haven't really changed everything there, anything there at all, sorry. Just turned on the GPS and then uh, we've got a, a location there. It's gone, see it's gone red at the top here. It means we've got um, GPS lock, okay? Uh, let's see if I can make it bigger for you so you can see that in a minute. And uh, you need to get outside really to get a good GPS lock. But see the little red icon here? It means we've got a GPS lock. You can set a shortcut button to view that if you want. Your location. Just go into to function. Go menu. Oh, I won't let me do it while I'm in APS. I'll show you in another video. But go into function, set a key for GPS info. So then we go across to APRS. These are my settings on the software. And you can copy them and then improve them, hopefully. So APRS is on, station mode is GPS. I put APRS, RX, channel A and A. Um, B can pop up, you, I do, you have to turn that up. Stored, you have to turn that on as well if you want them stored. If we go back and go menu, see if it will let me, yeah. And then go down to, Actually, no, I did set a shortcut button. I remember now you go menu, key define, and then I'm on number nine, I defined one as, look, APRS beacon receive. So now if I press and hold nine, we're starting to get those beacons. Now they do all look a bit weird. This is what makes me think there's a bit more work to be done, but it is receiving them, but it's just not, it's, it's receiving them not in English, I would say. Um, and then that, I did set a shortcut, I think it was three, just to show. Let me get the right button, that's the radio mode coming on. I did set, set a shortcut to see my location. Just going to, why is it not showing it? Let me just go back and keep trying. But that was interesting that you can set a shortcut for, for full band mode. Right, it's like I set the wrong button, didn't I? So there's my location. So my location's there and it's live. You can see it moving. It's definitely live. Okay. So I'll, I'll attach at the end of this video the settings I put in the actual radio. Actually, you know what? I'll show you them now. Um, so just, again, just quickly keep going through these settings. Um, PTT priority, I've put APRS, but I'm going to have to change that really, aren't I? Um, beacon stored, yeah, you definitely have to do that pop-ups. PTT link, I've just turned that on. TX gain, RX gain, left it all default. TX data upload, RX data upload. Now, is that more for PC? Not sure, uh, but it's on. And maybe if I turn them off, maybe that's the problem. Um, I'm going to experiment with that. There's a comment that I put in there, call sign, SSID, symbols, bicycle, which did show up. Wide one I put there, wide two, maybe the count, you know. I think some of these settings, things it will only let me put in one, two, three, four, five, six characters. So I put wide one there, wide two, maybe the path count, then report all the voltage and it's just more information that it can report. Okay, and I've got Digi, one and two is off at the moment. I'm not doing Digi Peter yet. Uh, remote password. So that's it really. And I created a channel. If we go over to channel, APRS, I just literally a normal channel. Look, just here, look, 
called it APRS. So just double click. Come on then. Uh, let me have a look at the channel. All right, so yeah, so there you are, one four four eight hundred. No tone, power, allow TX, and no tone. This tail, let's turn that off. We don't want that. Uh, da, da, da. Save. I'll just save that to my downloads for now. Call it APRS. Save. And then write to radio. I'm finding that my the cable that came with my 880 doesn't work very well. I've, I've reverted back to using the homemade one I I've got so refer to, to that video and then you can tinker around with your cable possibly I'm going to do some tests on the one they sent me um because it does it's not working at the moment I'll keep testing and then I'll swap the wires and see if it starts to work that's the red yellow and white wire or yellow and green because it might be transmitting backwards so on the actual I'll just quickly go through the settings on the radio and then we'll end the video so we just go menu down to extended settings uh, and then just go to APRS and then look APRS on they're pretty much the same look station mode beacon mode APRS receiver TX level demob tone Receive data. Everything. I'm not seeing anything new here. The only thing I couldn't see before was the APRS. I'll show you now because these are all everything's the same as the setting. There's no point me showing you that. APRS receive channel TX channel. Upload beacon pop up priority delay beacon. So that APRS on off station mode. So we're just going back round now. So the thing that that is not on the radio that was very important I found uh, was back to the software was go back to APRS. So extended then APRS was these two the pop up maybe it is in there somewhere has to be on and the stored all yeah store all. Uh, then everything has started coming to life then and um, so we'll end it with a little let's do uh, let's do uh... there you are that's that's come from my ft5 but look not really english is it but if i go the other way that is english remember i look at the information Station list. No, oh. there it goes. We can see it now. Comment. You can see M zero FX Bela RT eight eighty G. So it's definitely working when it transmits. Why it's not showing up on the network? I'm not sure. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Seven three.